LinkedIn Social Selling Index. Is it worth paying attention to or is it just another vanity metric on LinkedIn? Usefulness of LinkedIn Social Selling Index score remains a topic for discussion in debate in digital marketing, sales and leadership. In this training, I'll attempt to provide a quick overview of the LinkedIn Social Selling Index and share my thoughts with you and let you know my verdict whether you want to use it to your benefit or ignore it. But first of all, let's define what social selling means and what it is about. Here is how Hootsuite defines social selling. Social selling is the art of using social media to find, connect with, understand and nurture sales prospects. It's the modern way to develop meaningful relationships with potential customers so you are the first person or a brand a prospect thinks of when they are ready to buy. Now let's see how LinkedIn describes its social selling index per se as being a first of its kind measure of a company's or individual's adaptation of the four pillars of selling on LinkedIn based on a scale of 0 to 100. LinkedIn's social selling index score measures you or your company's performance in four key areas, also known as the LinkedIn Social Selling Index Pillars. They are create a professional brand, find the right people, engage with insights, build strong relationships. Pillar number one, create a professional brand. Under this pillar, basically LinkedIn looks at whether you completed all of your profile sections, headline, summary, experience, included a professional photo or not, banner, etc. Do you share high quality, helpful and relevant content with your followers? How many page views are your posts generating? How many followers have you gained? All these metrics in indicate how well you create your professional brand on LinkedIn. Pillar number two, find the right people. What LinkedIn means by finding the right people is that it encourages us to prospect efficiently by reaching out and connecting to relevant people and networking with them. As a result of this, everyone benefits. People on the platform benefit from the right mutual connections and what these connections bring down the road. The platform benefits from having people stay longer on LinkedIn and coming back more often. To increase the score for this pillar, LinkedIn wants us to use their tools such as Sales Navigator, for example. However, you can also use their basic tools and search tools by carrying out advanced search feature to filter results or carry out Boolean searches to identify the right people. View people's profiles, look at who's viewed your profile. Basically, LinkedIn wants us to use its tools and feature suite. Pillar number three, engage with insights. What LinkedIn tries to achieve with this one is to encourage its users to discover, share conversations, and by doing so, grow relationships on this platform. Here are some examples of activities you can perform to increase the score of this pillar. Follow relevant industry or topic hashtags. For example, hashtag social selling, hashtag accounting, or hashtag digital marketing, or whatever to your topic is. Join relevant LinkedIn groups and engage with them. Comment on and share others' people posts. Did you know that LinkedIn not only provides ranking juice to likes, comments, and reshares you receive, but also to likes, comments, and reshares that you give to other people. So reposting, liking, and commenting on other people's content are also a ranking factor on its own. So be generous with liking, sharing, and commenting on other people's content. By the way, speaking of sharing and liking, please like and comment down below and let me know what you think of this content. 
Pillar number four, build relationships. The last pillar is all about strengthening your network by connecting and establishing trust with decision makers. Your score for this specific pillar is based upon the total number of connections, including external connections, meaning people from other companies, and internal connections that are your co-workers from the same company. Also, it's based on the acceptance rates for connection requests you sent. All these four social selling index pillars make up your social selling score on LinkedIn. Now, let me hop on my computer and real quick go through each pillar and based on the example, show you what social selling index looks like and how you can check yours. Okay, here I am at my computer and I'm LinkedIn sales solution page. So uh, I will leave this URL down below this training. So in order to get here, you have to type in this URL. And basically this is what LinkedIn thinks about social selling and this is how it defines. So you can kind of read through this just to uh, get an idea of what social selling is according to LinkedIn. And in order to get um, your score, social selling index score, you have to come and here, come here and click this. So you have to be logged into your LinkedIn account um, in advance and just click this. Okay, so this is my social selling index on LinkedIn. So as you see, uh, it, it kind of consists of four components and each component is worth 25 points and it basically says like how I am doing for example for establishing my brand and by the way you can hover and click this question mark and can give you kind of explanation uh, definition what it means so um, so it's complete your profile with a custom in mind become a thought leader by publishing meaningful posts so according to LinkedIn I'm doing pretty well um, out of 25 points I am I have 22.27 and then as you can see visually, I still have a work to do in terms of like finding the right people as well as engaging with insights. So uh, let's see what it means. Basically, it means that I have to discover and share conversation worth the updates to create and grow relationships. So in terms of building relationships, according to LinkedIn again, so I'm doing pretty well. So out of 25 is 20. Uh, 4.93 and here it gives kind of top 1% of my industry and 2% out of my network. So this is the 2% of my SSI rank, social selling index rank in my network and 1% of social selling index rank in my industry. And uh, it shows here as well. So people in my industry on average, according to LinkedIn, have um, a score or a 27 out of 100 and the industry is sales professionals in marketing and advertising as it says have an average of SSI of 27 I rank in top 1% so pretty good I mean um, again and people in my network uh, it says that have an average of SSI 44 and I rank in the top 2% and as you can see there is a kind of change I went up by 1% since last week for the people in my industry uh, there, there has been no change since last week. Well, as I said, you don't have to get hung up too much on these metrics, but I mean, I would, for example, check those uh, once a week maybe or once every two weeks. So just to kind of get an idea of where I am and if my activities uh, are on track on LinkedIn and how I am doing. Now, here is the question, should you bother with it too much or you simply ignore this score? Well, here is what I think, even though I don't suggest you to get hung up on these metrics too much and freak out by its fluctuations and checking them daily, whether your score decreases or increases, I still think you don't want to ignore this completely. You want to check back from time to time and see how well you are doing in terms of social selling score just to validate your activities on LinkedIn are right on track. Here is why. LinkedIn wouldn't waste resources to come up with this tool and promote it just for nothing or for fun. I think through this social selling index, LinkedIn tries to accomplish two goals. 
First, it sets a benchmark and rules of the game for its users to know how they should be using the platform in order to keep it safe and beneficial for everyone. And second, it gives us the users a hint on how and when LinkedIn will reward our content by ranking and increasing its visibility, provided that we abide by the rules and social selling principles. I hope this was useful and insightful for you. If so, give this training some love by sharing, liking and commenting down below. And let me know how you are doing in terms of social selling and what your score is. And I'll see you in the next one.